Hi, my name is Patrick Rice. I'm going to be taking you through an anchor text distribution analysis. This is using a technique developed by Matt Diggity for competitor analysis with anchor text. So you can see the exact anchor text your competitor is using and take that to inform your strategy. So I've created this little template here and uh, here's an example that I've been doing just now with the keyword best pins. So if you come onto Google or Ahrefs or anywhere like that, for example, SEM Rush, and you type down best pins. What this strategy does is that it takes the ranking pages. So we see New York Times, Pen Addict, these pages, and it looks at their anchor text to inform your strategy. So on Ahrefs, we can actually get these results here and we can just click overview, open in a new window, open in a new window, and I've done that. So we have our designated keyword and we want to find out what are the ranking pages that Google is already rewarding with traffic. What anchor text are they using? And so we can start with the topmost one and we can work our way down. So New York Times, right off the bat, this is what I noticed, is that they're using the title of the article as a vast majority of their links. So they have the six best pens 2021, um, I assume they updated this to 2022, but this is a title anchor text. So they're using their exact title with the exact match keyword in there as well, best pins. Um, and so this I noticed, and I noticed it again. It's a reoccurring theme in all of the anchor text. So right off the bat, by just taking a look at this, we can see uh, Hrefs percentages, and we can get an idea of what are the common anchor texts that people are using for the search term. And so we definitely want to use title tags. Does that make sense? So we want to use this title tag of our own post as a large percentage of our anchor text. But after just getting a uh, preview and you know just looking at it with your own SEO brain, you want to get data. You want to get exact numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to export every one of these here and we're going to click export we're going to repeat that so we're going to get all of the anchor text and we're going to it's going to open in a file like this so once we have this file we're going to copy the anchor text and the referring domains and we're going to go into the template and now you can make your own template template is just kind of a, you know makes it a little bit easy for you i guess um a little bit easier, but you're just going to post this in here. So you're going to paste that in there. Um, I actually didn't even paste it, but you're going to paste this in here and you're going to get the anchor text. So I already did that for this New York Times one and for Pen Addict and the rest of them. And so now here is the difficult part, or at least the time consuming part of this strategy, um, is that you're going to have to manually describe each of these texts into different types. So you have branded, miscellaneous, in a target, topic, URL. You can actually do any of any uh, type that you want to. So I could have changed this to title, which is something that I might actually do um, so that I can see the difference between something like the best pin, which is a fairly obvious target keyword. They're using the best pin with just the in front of it versus full titles so I can get the exact number of titles to use in my anchor text. So you can get kind of creative with this. Um, now I'll actually step by step show you this on the pen addict because and so actually we could no let's not change that now. So we do target target and I'm using that in a because it's empty URL URL brand. So see how I'm doing this. Um, there's some kind of getting used to, like there's some ambiguities for when do you use target versus something else. And then you have a lot of branded here. And so this is a lot of what you're gonna be doing to do this analysis, uh, but it's important. You can look at what I've done on here and you see all of these target URLs. And this is actually comes to the conclusion of why the strategy is good is that normally you would never say a 40% target, target keyword or, or title um, distribution. But for this keyword is saying that. So it's something to note. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. 